I now have good stock of most varieties of polonia. These are Nordmax, supposedly well suited to the Irish climate. And these are Shantong. Nordmax is a hybrid and so is Shantong. I don't actually think there's much to choose between all the varieties in terms of my experience and I'll show you my small plantation shortly. There are some caveats as well and I'll explain them. My suggestion would be very healthy. My suggestion would be that you plant a mixture of all the varieties and then once they start establishing you start cloning your best ones. Though as I say there are some caveats and I'll explain them later. These are Tomentosa and they're growing rapidly now. These will six weeks time these will be ready and it doesn't matter when you plant these. I'm not supplying bare rooted trees, I'm supplying root trained plugs and my experience is these definitely establish quicker and grow a stronger tree. These are Pau Tong. Don't have a huge number of Pau Tong growing more. And these are Elongata, a new variety for me this year. I've got a few of these, not a huge quantity, but uh, got a few of them. I do have more Pau Tong and Elongata germinating. If you're looking for a large quantity, then get in touch and I'll grow to order. I'm confident now that I'm well set up for doing so with a high success rate. This is my small Polonia plantation, getting on for about a hundred trees now. I've just planted Elongata, was one of the varieties I wanted to plant. And once I get Fortunii seeds, then I'll plant another 20 there of Fortunii and that'll be me. I won't have any more space left in this area for Polonia. This area isn't ideal. It's a north facing slope, it's exposed to the northwesterlies. I don't actually think the exposure is much of an issue. So you'll get away if you're on, a, on an exposed site. I don't think, as I say, that's a factor in their growth. What I do think is a huge factor in their growth rates is sunlight. <laughs> As I say, this is a north facing slope, so that's not ideal to start with. And as you can see from the inset, it's very shaded during much of the early part of the day by the hedgerow. First row is Pau Tong, next row Nord Max, these are Shan Tong, then Tom and Tosa, which get the best of the light, and the Elongata are supposed to be amongst the fastest growing. Now, as I say, the shading from the hedgerow is going to be a big factor in terms of their growth rate. I am finding these much of a muchness. The big factor is access to strong light, full sunshine, full daylight, and generally speaking, the Pau Tong get the least of that and they're the least developed. 
though one or two are surprising. Nordmax, as I say, I mean, judge for yourself, I've got a couple of Tom and Toza, which are considerably larger than the rest, though they do get considerably more daylight. This one's much less well developed and my opinion now is they were being eaten by something, probably slugs early on in the year. They are highly palatable. The leaves and shoots are protein rich and highly nutritious. So when you compare that one, that's a Pau Tong with this one, also a Pau Tong, and they're both shaded so there's very little difference there. So when I'm saying clone your best ones, there are caveats. If your best one is just your best one because it hasn't been eaten by anything, then possibly let them grow for a few years till you find out which is your actual best grower. So possibly the slugs are, they're, the best growers are fending off the slugs and other pests more capably. Anyways, this Pau Tong, despite it being shaded, has done about 45 centimetres so far this year, and I'm not cutting any of the shoots. So I'm letting them do their own thing. If I was cutting all the excess shoots and just having one stem, and then I'm sure this would be putting all its energy into that one shoot and it would be considerably taller. Another factor which will affect the growth rate of your polonia is access to hydration and depth of soil. Polonia tend to like deep soils and for those closest to my driveway here, I would imagine the soil's not very deep. Underneath the gravel, a few centimetres down, it's bedrock. So these don't have a lot of soil to grow into. And a neighbour has a couple of polonia, one which is on a, a rocky slope. And it's perhaps five metres tall. He's got another one which has access to deeper soil and I would assume much more hydration and it's probably around 10 more than that 15 meters tall I don't know for sure though I would think they're both the same age they have all survived the winter freeze polonia are very hardy easily minus 10 more like minus 15 before they start running into issues with cold temperatures. My experience has been that during the first year, they're just going to develop a root system and they're not going to start putting out growth until the second year. So this one's still growing from basal shoots. And even though I've planted these elongata Within the past couple of weeks, and already, as you can see, they're starting to put out new shoots from the base. And it's not just one of them, they're, every single one of these is doing that. So, as I say, during the first year, just let them do their own thing. You can start pruning them and shaping them to get one telegraph pole, if that's your desire during the second, third year. But in the first year, just let them do their own thing. I am pleased and I am optimistic about my polonia. I'm definitely curious to see how much growth they're going to put on this year. This is the first real season where they've started growing from the stems. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to how tall they're going to get by the end of this growing season. Hope that helps me in time. Good luck.